G'day everyone, welcome to Lubrication Explained. In this video we're going to talk about calcium additives and calcium contaminants and effectively why calcium is in your oil or lubricant and where does that calcium come from. So this video is brought to you by cows, right? Obviously our primary source of calcium in our regular diet but um, generally not the source of calcium in our lubricants. Alright, let's get into it. Calcium additives um, come sort of in two forms. So the first is calcium detergents. We covered detergents in a previous video, but effectively they're formed by this reaction. Again, this is something that you would have probably learnt in high school chemistry. Acid plus base makes metal salt plus water. So in this case, you'd probably be reacting a, a calcium, maybe a calcium hydroxide or something, and you're getting a calcium salt. So that's the the calcium detergent. It acts very much like a, a, a soap in a grease as well. So those detergents are obviously in the lubricant to help with uh, cleanliness, right? So they're designed to um, latch on to very polar molecules, which are usually um, oxidation decomposition products. Now on top of that, we've also got, um, you know, uh, what we might call calcium TBN additives. So in it's, the difference between a detergent and a TBN additive is not that huge. Sometimes you'll call here TBN additives referred to as overbased detergents. What that effectively means is if I had a calcium hydroxide or a calcium carbonate as my base uh, to make a calcium detergent, the reaction that we're showing here is what we call stoichiom uh, stoichiometric. That is, there are the correct proportions of acid and calcium carbonate that you'll only produce salt and water. But if we have an excess of calcium carbonate, it's actually going to force there to be the production of calcium carbon on the other side of the equation, right? So you'll have the metal salt plus water plus, and this is what we call it overbase, because there is still residual base molecules left. It's the calcium carbonate. What you end up forming is these kind of micellar structures where you have the detergents um, encapsulate one of those base molecules. So you'll have the ca calcium carbonate in the middle and then the calcium heads of the different salt molecules will surround it and then you'll have the nonpolar tail fanning outwards. Right, so that's another way that we can have uh, calcium in our lubricant. And these calcium detergents and calcium TBN additives are the two primary ways that you'll see um, calcium as part of the lubricant package. All right, but there are other sources of calcium. So what if I have calcium in my oil, but it's not part of the actual fluid formulation? What if it is um, a contaminant? Well, the first way that we can get it is, is road dust. So if you're in a mobile equipment application or um, a mine site, construction site, road dust is a really common uh, way that we get uh, calcium contamination. Now, Here's an example um, of a, a construction site in Papua New Guinea, right? So way up in the highlands, um, most of these mountains are actually kind of made of limestone, which is, of course, calcium carbonate. Now, how does the limestone get up into these mountains in the first place? It helps to understand a little bit of geology here. So um, if millions and millions of years ago on the seabed you had a coral formation, right? So kind of like a, a, a coral reef. Um, Coral reefs are made up of calcium carbonate skeletons, effectively. That's kind of the backbone to, to coral. And over millions and millions of years, of course, it will deposit, there'll be deposits over the top of it, and it will eff effectively fossilize. So you'll get these calcium carbonate formations way underground. Well, over time, you know, as the tectonic plates move, these can get shifted out of place. So rather than being deep underground, it might be that the tectonic plates move such that uh, that old coral reef now becomes a mountain, right? And now if you cut away at the mountain, you're cutting into the coral reef bed and it exposes the calcium carbonate to the air. And that's why, you know, calcium can often be um, part of road dust. The other way it can get in is um, grease contamination. So um, calcium complex and calcium sulfonate greases are very commonly used in industry. Um, get, you know, calcium sulfonate is probably the the... Uh, more well-known one because it has um, 
uh, quite good water resistance properties. So very, very commonly used in the mining industry or the, the paper machine industry, steel industry, things like that. Um, so calcium sulfonate greases, if for any reason they were to leak out of, let's say, a bearing and they get into your oil system, that's another way that you will see calcium contamination in your oil system. Thirdly, milk. This is a little bit of a joke, but a little bit not. Um, so milk obviously contains a lot of calcium and it's unlikely that you will find milk in your oil system. However, if you work in the dairy industry and food processing, then milk um, is effectively your process product, right? So you've got milk flowing through all of your machinery and if there are any leaks anywhere, then, then the actual fluid, that is milk, is going to get into your oil system and we can get calcium contamination that way. Finally, um, cement dust. So cement, um, calcium is part of uh, lime as well as uh, limestone, right? And both of these are used in the manufacture of cement or concrete. So um, calcium is a, is a huge component of a lot of building materials. And as a result, um, if you are working in the construction industry or if you have equipment that is on a construction site um, or a demolition site for that matter, it is highly likely that any of your systems uh, could uh, receive some kind of calcium contamination from those sources. Um, I know this has been a really quick video, but uh, hopefully that explains why calcium is in your used oil analysis results and where it comes from. As always, if you've got questions or comments, please leave them down below. Otherwise, this has been Lubrication Explained.